How's it going YouTube? DM from Stone Belts back here again with a brand new video and today this video is actually a follow up from my last video. If you guys told about I me, mean, if you wanted about a send out strap or even get your belt re-leathered by Bear Skull Leathers or Ace Hernandez from Bear Skull Leathers, follow that description like I said in my last video and of course in the video before that and hopefully he uh, say shout out to you. Ace Hernandez for a good quality leather. Sorry guys, a little thirsty. Plus, uh, trying to find a little bit of a cold I had here for a while. And plus, other bad news is that uh, now under my household, one of my family members actually now has been tested positive for COVID. And she had that tested uh, three days ago. So yeah, it's going to be... a Literally, if I make videos here and there, don't worry, guys. It doesn't mean I'm gonna catch it. I've already had test twice within that time when they were tested when she, that member was tested positive and it came out negative. So DMT is not have COVID yet. Hopefully, never will. I've gone three years during this pan, during that pandemic, never catching it. But so far, the progress of what is to come for uh, yours truly. Obviously, for WrestleMania 39, when WrestleMania goes Hollywood, to, for uh, to see the matches and all, you know. But also, another update when it comes to the my old friends of the former UWW. I mean, I don't know if I can have the right to say what the company's name is now, but I know what it's called. Uh... Let's just say uh, we're starting to get stuff here and there. We're starting to work there, and we're getting some people. And let's just say maybe during the summer, you guys may see Bad Dan enter the ring again. For the first time in over three years, Bad Dan's going to enter the ring. There's that to come, and hopefully people are going to enjoy seeing us do this. And as well, Motor City Comic Con coming in May and that. But, and of course, I'm going to try to get uh, to see not one, but two WWE superstars, uh, WWE Hall of Famers. Two-time Hall of Famer Ric Flair, the nature boy. Woo! He'll be coming here sometime in Detroit. Maybe to hopefully get my uh, either Big Gold or uh, Winged Eagle signed. I already have this one signed by Kevin Nash. Pretty awesome. So it's... If anything, I probably may get the big gold sign because he was well famous for the big gold. And, or, yeah, I may think about that. Maybe get him to sign the big gold. And then uh, have Mick Foley maybe sign my uh, custom hardcore belt. If, if it, if he, eh, I mean, if he's able to. Maybe they only sign replicas, I'm not sure, but. You never know, but I'll be him at the Motor City Comic Con, where actually I, Christopher Lloyd's also going to be there. I'm a big, huge fan of Back to the Future, and if we have him sign my DVD set, but pretty much that's pretty much going to be happening through the time now to the summer, and of course right now I'm still in the progress of maybe getting my belts restone. Right recently I've restoned some parts of my. Uh, there may be scratch logo belt, the big scratch logo belt. Trying to get some restones for the my uh, re-leathered uh, red universal. I'm getting a one piece belt tip sent in the mail, maybe for that red logo belt, or maybe even for the blue one. Once I get the blue universal send out strap from Ryan Richards come in. Right now, he said he was in the process of getting the backing put on. And hopefully, once he sends it out, if I get the, the send up beforehand, if anything, I may just get that, maybe put the one piece belt tip on the blue universal. Because I don't know if I want to put one on the red one yet until, that, until I get the red one fully restored. Because I want to try to make my belts to look as TV accurate as possible. And so far, the, the send out leather straps are amazing, guys. A lot better than that, those crappy stock straps. I'm glad I got it to do for my uh, my now new 
fully up, I mean, uh, all out made WWE Network logo belt. When I had that one, when I curved that one myself, got it fully restoned with custom side plates, fondue sidebars, and of course, a one piece belt tip to go on the send out leather strap that I got from Rock Leather Designs. And of course, it's a Velcro one, it's a national one on TV. My God, the only thing left for it to have is probably base plates, but literally, the base plates for the thing, no matter Lexton plastic or metal, it costs as much as the darn belt it would. A, a, a darn belt you would get off a of WWE shop. So, uh, in Lexon, it's kind of hard because if I'm thinking you, if you curved your plates, hard to bend that plastic without worrying about cracking it. Unless you're telling me you have to, like, match like it would be for that. Might as well just get, like, a, a commemorative, uh, version of the, the belt you want and try to double stack it. But then again, you run to that uh, problem if you already curved the plate. You're going to have to risk chances of it not matching right because you got to try to curve, meet it with that curve and it's going to maybe break the belt or something like that. Anyway, double stacking is kind of a problem with that belt, but it still looks good. But anyway, enough for of that. Let's also talk about the contest. Recently, I've seen nobody has made a vote in, that, in the Choose a Belt contest, which is sad. Because they have over nearly 350 subscribers, and yet not one is able to make a vote on that on that video. Come on, guys! It's your guys' votes is making me want to do this and choose what I could do. So I've eliminated one of the options, and I'm going to choose it down to three. It's either my oval I see, a revisit to where I can do a. Revisit WWE Spinner. That's the only one I got left to revisit. I've done I revisited the US Spinner. I revisited a European Spinner, which I've done and sent it out to the big C6. Shout out to him. And revisit Hardcore, not once, but three times. So pretty much done every type of title I've done in that version. So if I want guys want to see a revisit of the WWE Spinner, let me know. And of course, there's the my custom logo belt that, or basically, it's the DMT belt I will call it, and it's my logo. Did you see when you enter into my channel? The first belt, the drawing of a belt you see on my channel, it's on there. So remember, guys, if you guys want to see the DMT belt, I'm going to say right now in this video, down to the three options. If you want to see Oval IC? Hashtag Oval IC down below. If you want to see revisit WWE Spinner, hashtag revisit. And of course, my logo turned into a actual belt, DMT logo belt, or hashtag DMT title. So that's pretty much going to be it for me, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to share. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm close to 400, guys. Let's try to get me to 400. And, uh,. Don't forget to follow me on my uh, social media, like on uh, Twitter at DMTombstone96, and as well on Instagram at DME96, where sometimes I might post up there before I post it here on YouTube. Anyway, I'm DM Tombstone Belt, and I'll see you guys in the next video.